And my intriguing game of the week. <laughs> there was, I, hey, Ben, there's an intriguing game just like this about to happen. If it's not happening tonight, I'm not sure. In basketball. What's that? I want to watch it. The top two teams, the Warriors. Oh. And um, what's his name? Um, what's no, on? no. It's the Suns. The Suns. Phoenix. Yes. One yes. and two. Yes. One and two happening in basketball. One and two happening Monday night in football. Your bias plus score um, favors at, at only 0 0.9, favors the Buffalo Bills. But as I said here, the defense for the New England is ranked first. The offense for the Buffalo Bills is ranked second. But relative to net points, Buffalo's number one at 13.1. New England is number two at 12.2. So that's number one and number two going at it in basketball and in football. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is a tough one. This, this is a really, really tough one. Yeah, especially with New England being first in net points over the last three weeks at plus 28.7. Yeah, yeah. Besides the Bengals, they're, they're hot. They're really hot. But they're not dominating hot. They're winning hot, but they're not dominating hot. But That's it's almost because they have a run game. <laughs> well, yeah, they do have a run game. But again, it's not a devastating run game. You know what I mean? It's just I, all I can do is keep saying Josh McDaniels is the best OC in the NFL. This guy puts together game plans like Belichick puts together defensive game plans that are always on point. How much to throw, when to throw, not only when do we run, who do we run? Okay. Damian Harris, Ramondre Stevenson. These aren't big names. Mac Jones, rookie quarterback, super game manager. He keeps these guys in the games with not necessarily conservative game plans, but just – it's it's too simple to just say well thought out. That's not – this guy's a scheming master. And believe me, the Bills have some issues on offense and defense. They Clearly, one of their top defensive players. Well, yes, that, that hasn't helped them. But clearly, offensively, they have little to no running game. They have to throw the ball to set up the run just to get the little bit of production on the ground that they get. Now, Singletary did so show, show some promise. And your boy Matt Breida, another ex-Niner, showed off his speed. Their O-line can open holes. But it's like, I, I, I don't. It's, it's tough. First of all, those guys are very small. They're small guys. No. They don't have any – Singletary runs bigger than he is. You know what I mean? He runs like a big man, but he's a small man. I think Breida, the uh, Patriots running backs have some nice size. If, 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 uh, Damian Harris is a huge <coughs> – he's bigger than Singletary. And Ramondre okay, Stevens, Stevens, Stevens – Ramondre, whatever his name. Yeah, he's a he's a bulldozer. He's yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's pretty tough runner. And you got a niner on both sides. You mentioned Breida, and you got your man that you always used to talk about, Bourne, Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne, yeah. Kendrick Bourne always Bourne is about him, yeah. and I think he's really finding a good spot. You know, let me say this real quick. There's a a guy on Facebook, um, and. I don't know if he says things just to be controversial, but he 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 put out these things that these teams should have done. I mean, like the Niners should have taken Mac Jones. And, oh, come on. and my thought right off the bat is Mac Jones is in the place where he needs to be 
He would not be the Mac Jones that we're seeing today if he was with my Niners. Right. I don't believe. Right. You know, number one, obviously my coaches have some other concepts in mind if they're going to get a guy <laughs> like Trey Lance. You know what sure. I mean? They got some other things that they're looking to do with their quarterback. And Mac Jones don't really fit that model. You exactly. Know? So, um, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm kind of a Mac Jones fan, man. You know, mac and cheese, put a little gravy on it, and, you know, I'm good. You know, I put gravy on my mac and cheese, man. So, you know, well, what do you think? You got I mean, tonight, you got the Bills or the Patriots? The, the, I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going to take the Bills because I think Josh Allen will simply outplay Mac Jones. I think he'll make more big plays. He's more dangerous with his legs. And I'm hoping that because they're at home, um, and it's been a couple of weeks now since uh, uh, that D-back went down, that they, they've pretty much shored that up. And um, the defenses will kind of wipe each other out. You know what I mean? But defensively, it should be a wash. Josh Allen will make more big plays than Mac Jones will. Hence, they will win the game. The Bills. You know where, you know where it was a wash when, when we, I was doing those calculations? Where's that? Eight tied. Equal at point eight. <laughs> okay. And 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 we, we talked about Josh throwing two picks last week. Well, and they moved good. down. They were number one. Now they're number three. Right. Right. Yeah, because because their defense, the, the Bills picked one off and he threw two. So <laughs> that's one game he dropped from first to third. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, but and New England is right there at, at number two. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. All right. So you're going with the Bills yes, sir. over the Patriots. All right. Well, that wraps up the uh, week 13 Pro Football Bias Plus reports.